Minions are requested to prepare for security Shoot star checks. picking tort. A rare opportunity. Let's check out the backstage of the Sky Splitter. Maybe there's something exciting going on backstage that you won't be able to see from the spectator seats. Did you want to participate in the war dance? Because... because... because I was qualified to participate? Isn't that... Luca? Why is he here on the LaFu? Luca! Didn't expect to see you here. Blazer? Why are you here? <laughs> I see. This is my first time leaving Bellabog to compete in outer space. Are you a friend of Mr. Lucas? Allow me to introduce myself. I am an interastral peace entertainment journalist in training, Carmella. I was supposed to follow Mr. Albert to cover the war dance together. But he's got a million things to attend to. So, the tasks of interviewing the popular contenders and producing the special program fell on my shoulders. Oh, these are huge responsibilities. I've been interning for so many years. If I screw this up, I doubt I'll ever get the chance at a full-time role. Ooh, the IPC sure is harsh. <laughs> It'll be fine. It's just my boss trying to mentor me. As long as I get some shots that'll shock and awe, I'm sure I'll be able to clinch a full-time job this year. I can sense the potential of a juicy program just through Luca alone. <laughs> really? I'm not so sure about that. Why did I choose to participate in the war dance? It's a long story. You two, let's take a walk. I can tell you all about why I'm here on the way. Nat, I... How long do I have left? <sighs> Not long, Luca. Best brace yourself. Is there anything else I can do? Uh, you're already at this stage. Just eat whatever you like. Oh, that won't do. I can't be gorging on garbage at this pivotal moment. It'll ruin my energy levels. <laughs> I know. You can't wait to join the finals of the Bellabog representative qualifiers. But Japard isn't a pushover either. I've been hard at work studying how Mr. Depard moves. Just wait and see. I'll defeat Mr. Depard and be the first Bellabug fighter in 700 years to qualify for a competition in space.
Luca, you've always had this bad habit of taking a hit to exploit a weakness, but Japard's much stronger than you. So remember, stay away from his punches. Master, you've been telling me that the entire trip. My ears are about to fall off. Fine, enough prattle. But don't let the need to win weigh too heavily on you either. Even if you don't make it to that Sienjo Lofu, you've made it to the final to fight against your part. That's enough to make anyone proud. That won't do! Luca promised Hook that he has to win the final and take Hook up there to see the stars beyond. <laughs> uh, you sure got some daydreams on you, little one. Don't worry, Master Oleg and Pitch Dark Hook the Great. I'll win this for sure. Luca, you absolutely cannot lose. You promised to take me up to visit the Sanjo Lofu. Kid. You've really got to stop making promises to children. Eh, never mind. He'll just pawn his iron arm if he loses, and take you up there out of his own pocket. Mr. Jepard, I've always been hoping to fight you. There's no one in the overworld more worth challenging than you. I'm honored. I've also been raring to witness the strength of the legendary Luca Strongarm. Uh, I'm not great at conversation, so it's a good thing we're both warriors. We don't have to use words to understand each other. Well said, Luca. Let your determined desire for victory speak through your fists. <laughs> God. Our position is solid. Step out of it. In the name of preservation! Resistance is futile. Now we're talking. Don't get cocky. Let's see some sparks fly! Our position is solid. Step out of it. Is that all you got? This ends here! I've... lost. Mr. Jepard, you were better than me. Luca, there wasn't ever any doubt in your technique and strength. But you were too concerned with winning. And that prevented you from unleashing your utmost. Uh... uh then... What am I doing here, if not to attain victory? That's a question you need to ask yourself. From my experience, a person's inner voices make far too much noise. Especially so during safe and quiet moments. Ironically, the voices that truly matter often become audible only in moments of pain, discomfort, and peril. When perhaps you leave your cozy hometown and head to the unfamiliar Law Fu, you will find your answer. Hold on. When I reached the Lofu? But you won. Truth be told, I can't just drop my work and leave Bellabog. My reason for coming to this martial tournament was to verify if you were good enough to contend against competitors from other worlds. And now I see you're good enough. You're younger and more upbeat than I am. A far more appropriate image for Bellabog. Don't forget that the reason we're participating in the war dance is also to promote Urillo 6 to the rest of the cosmos. Luca, I'm entrusting the chance of attending the war dance on the Sienjo La Fu to you. Mr. Depart, please don't pity me. Chances must be earned fairly through our own strength. <laughs> you are mistaken, Luca. It is not pity. I am lending you this victory, and you will repay me by winning the war dance. I hereby announce that the contender who has earned the right to represent Bellabog in the war dance is... Luca!
Understood, Mr. Depart. Chin up. Let's go. We should head to Klopoff Fort and meet with the Supreme Guardian. Branya, uh, uh, hi. Uh, sorry, I grew up in the underworld, so I'm not versed in etiquette of any sort. No need for formalities. You probably know nothing about the La Fu. The place you're heading to, correct? Let us take this opportunity to discuss it. I've always been a little curious. Though Eurilo 6 has restored contact with the outside worlds, we've always just been communicating with the IPC. Why are we suddenly participating in this fighter's tournament in this Luofu place? Not long ago, Bellabog's interstellar comm space resumed operations. A month ago, we received an invitation with a highly distorted signal. The Sienjo Lafu cordially invites Eurilo 6's warriors to join the war dance. We've just resumed outside contact, and the way the IPC describes it, the cosmos has long forgotten us. Why would the Xianzhou so eagerly send an invitation to a city that has been buried in time? My guess is that it's because we had communications with many worlds before the Eternal Freeze. Luca, have you heard of the story of Igor Haft? Oh, you mean the legendary warrior? Of course I have! I'll never tire of the story where he led the 8th Iron Legion and engaged in a furious battle against invaders from beyond the sky! That's him! When the Eternal Free subsided, Lynxie, uh, <clears throat> Lynx, took the opportunity to explore the ruins of the ancient city of Maslanitsa. A few months ago, she found a lone grave outside the public graveyard. The grave had no body, just a robot arm and a cracked pendant with an embedded gemstone. An IPC worker said that the arm was tech from the old world. As for the stone, it's a Sienjo implement called a Jade Abacus. Oh, I've heard about that. Miss Lynx thinks it's Igor's grave. That's right. The epitaph on the tombstone confirms that hypothesis. The fighter Igor Haft once left Eurilo 6 before the invasion, and then he returned home to join the resistance against the aggressors. No one knows what he did after he left Eurilo 6, and why he decided to come back. Uh, maybe Igor had been to the Shinzo? That's why they sent us an invitation? Maybe Igor even attended the war dance! The Sienjo people have long lives, so it wouldn't be something that happened long ago for them. Long story short, regardless of why the Sienjo Alliance invited us, joining this war dance is of august meaning to Bellabog. It symbolizes a chance to introduce ourselves to the cosmos once again. A heroic kingdom that survived both the Legion and the Eternal Freeze with tenacity. Also, if we can leverage this opportunity to establish an amicable exchange with the Sienjo Alliance, it may provide us with more bargaining power when dealing with the IPC. Lady Branya, I'm not well-educated, so I don't really know such matters of grandiosity. All I know is that I must achieve glory for Bellabog. Well said. Oh, I almost forgot. Zila had other matters today and couldn't attend today's meeting, but she entrusted me to deliver a message. <clears throat> What's that dolt to part up to now? Luca, you better fight like your life is on the line. If you lose, I'll make sure you wish you were really dead. The next day, I hitched a ride with an IPC transport vessel and arrived on the Xinzhou Luofu. The Supreme Guardian hopes that the younger generation can go out and see other worlds. So, she arranged for Lynx and Hook to accompany me. 
On account of the fact that the three of us know next to nothing about interacting with other cosmic civilizations, she even instructed Svarog to tag along and be our guide. I never thought that, while we were processing our entry papers at the Skyfaring Commission, we would run into another surprise. We've double-checked. This invitation did indeed come from the La Fu, but after checking the stamp, this invitation was dated 400 years ago. 400 years ago? How is that possible? We just received this invite not too long ago. We can assume that this invite was delayed in transmission and only reached us after the restoration of communications. I'm afraid this Arumaton is right. You received an invitation that is 400 years late. So... we weren't invited. Oh no... This trip has all been for nothing, then. How am I going to explain this to Lady Branya and Mr. Japard? They have high hopes for me. According to calculations, the thing that we should be considering first is not emotions, but... If we are not invited guests, then we will be responsible for all costs incurred while staying here. Conclusion. We cannot afford it. You all misunderstand. The Sanjo La Fu is indeed hosting a martial arts competition called the War Dance. Whether you receive an invitation or not, anyone who wants to can register to compete in the War Dance. The sole distinction is that invited guests, upon qualifying through a test, get to partake in the prestigious Ringmaster's Challenge, facing off against the Sianjo La Fu's Ringmaster. As for ordinary contestants, they will have to participate in knockout stages and rise through the ranks to reach the ultimate stage of the Ringmaster's Challenge. To challenge the Lofu's Ringmaster? That's the ultimate goal for all the contestants? Hmm, <laughs> that's right. Although you didn't receive an invitation, you can still participate in the war dance. You'll definitely uh, have a chance to win and gain honor. But Mr. Svarog has a point. According to calculations, we can't afford this. <laughs> Money can't buy relationships. This invitation that's been delayed for 400 years must be a marvelous twist of fate. And since fate has brought you all here to the La Fu, we will not fail in our hospitality. Please, be assured that I will report this incident, and ensure that the Bellabog representative team receives the same accommodation and treatment as all other esteemed, invited guests. However, Mr. Luca, you will still have to participate in all the knockout stages and work your way up to the final stage. Really? At your expense? <laughs> the heart of the war dance is all about celebrating martial arts and fostering friendships. My friends, how could we possibly allow you to fret over food and the lodging? Thank you, Miss Chikwe! I'll treasure this opportunity! And just like that, by the grace of Miss Shikwe, I didn't die before achieving success! I just learned this old Shenzo saying a few days ago. Now, I've successfully become a competing fighter in the war dance! Luca, you are absolutely radiating with newsworthiness! I've decided to follow you and report on your progress throughout the competition. <sighs> if only everything were as smooth as when it started. If that was the case, I'd have nothing to feel bad about. It's been days since I've registered, but I haven't participated in a single match yet. Today's my first one. But forget about competing. I feel like I'm struggling with just normal, everyday life. 
I'm already halfway into the realm of needing help with daily activities. Why don't people accept shields? You can pay for things by just swiping a gemstone trinket? Why doesn't anyone look their age? I approached this girl with pointy ears to ask her for directions, and I called her little girl, and she got mad. She said she was over 340 years old. So now, I'm even afraid to talk to people. Oh, and meals. I'm really not used to the food on the Shenzo. Yesterday, I ate a bowl of chili oil beef offal stew for dinner, and today, I've been blowing up the toilet with my flaming rockets. Ooh. <laughs> I feel ya, Luca. I, I also can't get used to the food on the Sienjo. Miss Carmella, you can't get used to the food either? Uh, well, n not exactly. I it's because I'm an Intellitron. Huh. Uh, sorry, please continue. Anyways, this is the first time in my life I've felt so useless. I can't even do something as trivial as asking for directions. Thank you for comforting me. Actually, I did do some mental preparations. It's my first time going out to the world, but I didn't expect it to be so overwhelming that I can't keep my footing. Where are your Bellabogian buddies? Lynx went on an archaeological escapade. She wants to try to learn about Igor's history before he returned to Eurillo 6 with that gemmed pendant. Oh, Svarog took Hook out to play. He's really good with kids. I'm so irate and I'm about to start my first match. I'm in worse shape than ever. The next opponents are several Cloud Knights. Oh, they're like the Silvermane here. Oh, why am I explaining this to you? You should know better than me. I'm the only one who doesn't know anything. Why not check out who your first opponent is before the competition starts? It's better than wallowing here, as it'll just make you more anxious. <sighs> Thanks for talking to me and cheering me up. Sure, I'll head off and meet my first opponent. Luca has regained his energy. Fool health revive, oh yeah! Oh, look! Those are my opponents for my first match. Are you here to watch our match? This is our next opponent, Luca. Hello, everyone. I'm Luca, and I come from Bellabog. I'll be exchanging fists with you guys in the ring. I, I hope we'll be able to take this chance to become friends. Bellabog. Oh, I think Lolgoy mentioned it before, but... I can't seem to remember. What kind of place is it? Oh, wow. <laughs> I can't imagine that. I'm sorry. The Sienjo Yaoqing doesn't have much artificial snow. It's okay if you haven't heard of us. I'll make sure the whole cosmos remembers Bellabog's name with my fists. In that case, I'll keep my eyes peeled. Oh, Sushang used an idiom! I'm the journalist who's reporting on Luca. I it's fine. Just just chat like you always do and ignore me. I I'm just snapping shots for material. Are you here to join the tournament with Mr. Luca? Could Luca be the fighter that you've been training? The iron arm on this red-haired boy looks like it's got power. Definitely capable of taking down a kid with one punch at a time. Ah, uh, but we're not kids. The Cloud Knight's tactical creed is to complement one another and overwhelm with numbers! That's called a united front, got it? My strategy... Uh, sorry. It's my first time participating in the war dance. I'm the only one in my team, so I don't have any strategy to speak of. It appears our otherworldly friend requires some enlightenment. How about this? The match is starting in an hour. I'll give you some real-life tactical pointers in the ring. 
Sleepy Su Shong, that's over the line! You were supposed to be our coach when we invited you here. How could you run off to the opponent's corner? It's just... our friend from afar requires some assistance, that's all. Don't we Cloud Knights also earnestly help out and provide direction to the travelers we encounter on our daily patrols? Ah, it'll be your fault if we lose. Enough chit-chat, get back to your prep. I appreciate it. Thank you, new friend whose age I won't try to estimate. We're heading back to the lounge. See you in the ring! So... the coach of my opponent for my first match... is going to give me tactical advice in the ring? I am bewildered by the Shenzhou people's hospitality. Huh, you're right. There are many good people here. This is your first match, Luca. You're bound to win. <sighs> Luca, you're gonna be fine. You're the boxing champion of Bellabog. The Clown Knights, aren't they just the silver main guards? I'm pretty confident of my odds against them. Except Mr. Chapard. Luca, you're the best. You're not gonna lose. Go get him! Luca, ready for your first match? I think I... more or less, maybe, perhaps, I'm ready. Luca, have more confidence in yourself! Your world has a day night cycle. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm your good buddy Alpha. And welcome, welcome everyone to the War Dances Knockout Stage brought to you live. Presenting the two corners of this match, we have the Lil Poo's Cloud Knights, Lil Gwen Support Association. And representing the city of Bellabog, Luca Stronga! Between these two groups of contenders who will emerge victorious, we wait with bated breath. Come at us, Mr. Luca. My team will show you the prowess of the Cloud Knight's formation. Nope, I'm not about to suffer in pain. It's much easier being a coach. <laughs> Of course, being a spectator is the easiest. Well, Gwei's up there in the stands right now, watching us duke it out from her vantage point. Oh, she's such a baddie. Hear that, everyone? Lil Gwei is someone in the audience watching us. Brothers, we mustn't disappoint our Lil Gwei! Woo! For Lil Gwei, we will emerge victorious! If I lose, those people dear to me will be disappointed too. Looks like we have to give it our all. Ooh, if the Cloud Knights fail, Little Gray will be disappointed. If the Cloud Knights win, our friends from Bellabog will be disappointed. No matter the ending, disappointment inevitably awaits one party. Oh, welcome to the cruel world of competition. For Little Gray, form up! Let me remind you, on the war dance stage, the atmosphere of the spectators is very important. Show off your flashy moves and make the audience cheer for you. You ready for another? <laughs> Small fry. Step out of it. Too much race. Brothers and sisters, it's time for us to show off our stuff. Sword. 
Luca seems to be struggling to land a counter. What is Luca going to do? <laughs> Naughty child. Nap time. me up. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! Luca is at the arena, please, with excitement! Everyone is screaming for Luca! <laughs> Brothers and sisters, get it together! Lil Gwen is watching! This... Why is there a Fragmentum creation? Am I... hallucinating? Pretty good crowd today. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. <laughs> time for a shot. Nap time. Enemy data secured. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Ready for another? <laughs> Discernment. Ouch. Ooh, Luca isn't able to deflect the cloud that's attack. He's been down once again. The opponent is not leaving any openings for Luca. Turn it up. Naughty child. is ready to end this match once and for all. No. How can it... Hey, Coke! Luca's been not... Then should I go up there myself and defeat you guys for him? Ugh, of course not. Come, let me show you how it's done. <laughs> song's for you. <laughs> just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Keep patching me up. Where's the applause? Let's see some sparks fly! Enemy data secure. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. <laughs> Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Rock with it! Nap time. <laughs> time for the main event. <laughs> Commencing support. Ready for another? Sagacious discernment! Hell of time! Oh, you got Enemy targets detected. Small fry. Let's rock. Time for a shot. Remember this moment. That's it. Ready for another? Just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. <sighs> Ready to jam. 
For the main event. Let's see some sparks fly! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it! Enemy data secured. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counterattack! <laughs> the punches decide. And the winner is... Luca Strongon! Who would have thought a rookie challenger like Luca would win? But how much further will he make it? Let us stay tuned! <laughs> Something feels off. What is happening to me? I feel... a little strange. I just saw those Cloud Knights grow fangs and claws, like they were demons. Hey, show a little sportsmanship. You've already won, so what's with the insults? Sorry, I didn't mean it that way. I just feel like everything I'm seeing is a hallucination. Are you too stressed out? When I was younger, every time before the day of exams, it also seemed like my textbooks grew fangs and talons, as if they were demons. Uh, your situation is clearly different. If you're too stressed out, how about a bottle of Sweet Dream Soda? This is the CN Joe version of Soul Glad, and it helps you sleep better, too. Grab some Sweet Dream Soda. A sweetness that's bound to last. <laughs> Don't worry. Even Intelligrons and IPC mechs can participate. The Sienjo's War Dance has essentially become a tech fair. I feel much better. I'm very sorry if I said anything rude just now. I really think those Cloud Knights are a cut above the rest. Uh, excessive compliments can seem disingenuous if overdone, pal. We're just your typical rank and file. In terms of martial prowess, the average Cloud Knight appears to match even the most elite Silvermane squads. Uh, your praise is making me all confused now. Wait, could it be that we're actually pretty strong? Those Cloud Knights said they were just ordinary soldiers. They were tough as heck, and yet, they're just the Luofu's most ordinary fighters. <laughs> Urillo 6 has been isolated from the cosmos for so long that I'm clueless about things everyone else takes for granted. Forget strength. Even the gap in everyday knowledge isn't something I can get past overnight. But no matter how wide that gap is, I must wield my fists, I must fight, and I must win! Uh, right now, Lady Bronya, Master Oleg, and Zila, all the people who stayed in Belabog are working day and night to keep it up and running. Mr. Jepard placed his faith in me, entrusted me with the chance to represent Belabog. I cannot disappoint him, any of them. I must offer nothing less than victory. So, I would like to officially ask you to be my coach. Because you're strong, and you know plenty of strong people. When you were pretending to be my coach in the last match, you were a great help. I want to bridge the gap between myself and this world. Trailblazer, will you help me? Thank you, coach! I'll do my best to keep up and train seriously! <laughs> Such a burning friendship! Don't, don't do this to me, guys! My, my camera! It's getting wet! And the shot! It's getting blurry! <laughs> Luca, I'll do everything I can.
can to assist you. You'll both become the most legendary coach and fighter team there is. And I'll create a special feature that will finally bag me that permanent role. Oh, man. Miss Carmella, why is your dream making me tear up, too? Uh, uh, enough about me. I'll brief you on the rules for the next match first. VIP I always deliver. Run deep to my heart's content. Harmony and unison. Bring it on. Your life's turning to death. The inner game. Haven't eaten yet. There's no backing out now. For me or you. Time to twirl! Who's the little backstabber? This big diamond! It's all yours! Self-inflicted misery. Time to twirl! Doors echo! Time for a lesson! Time to twirl! Those with the loaded gun! Dig the little grave. <laughs> Bending the rules. Time to twirl. There's no backing out now. For me or you. Time to twirl. Who's the little backstabber? Time to twirl. <laughs> this big diamond. It's all yours. Self-inflicted misery. <laughs> Don't let me down. Hit. Time to twirl! Time 
Less. Those with the loaded gun. Those who dig their own grave. Tiger twirl. There's no backing out now. For me or you. Who's the little backstabber? Time to twirl! This big diamond! It's all yours! Self-inflicted misery. Time to twirl! Bring it on! Time's up!
Those with the loaded gun. Those who dig the little grave. Not a step back. Slap. Right on time. Just give it up. Yes, you. Right on time. Just give it up. Yes, you. After fighting in so many knockout stages, I think our points should be enough. Time to head to the Sky Splitter's leaderboard to confirm her ranking. But... <sighs> hey, looks like I've got enough points. How about it, coach? Let's get ready to challenge some powerful opponents. Okay. Fired up! Let's head back to the lounge. Already a few matches have gone by in the blink of an eye. Have you gotten used to the situation, Luca? <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, uh, I have. But the hallucinations are getting stronger. Could there actually be something wrong with me? Can culture shock really cause such strong hallucinations? It's possible. There was a scholar from the Intelligentsia Guild who wished for an audience with the erudition, no matter the cost. But he went mad the instant he laid eyes on Noose. The minds of organic life forms are very fragile. Uh, you're starting to scare me now. <sighs> Good thing I've got plenty of youth left to burn. I can't falter now. The next match is gonna be crucial. And my opponent is... Uh, I guess you can call her an old acquaintance. Never met her in the flesh, but when Bellabug wouldn't know of her. Oh, 
Miss Topaz is the cutest among the ten stone hearts. Oh, I like her. No offense, Miss Carmella, but I'm not keen on the IPC. They nearly turned my home into an asset that could be bundled and sold. <sighs> Mr. Luca, the IPC is a megacorp. It's easy to pin labels on people, but at the end of it, everyone we meet is living flesh and bones with feelings. I I'm also an IPC staff member. Do you hate me too? I spoke out of turn. Please forgive my rudeness, Miss Carmella. You're right. You're right. I should find out what kind of person Topaz is for myself. Topaz, the IPC's participating representative. Honestly, I don't really hate her. I heard she was the one who granted the time extension. Maybe she's not so bad after all. But I have a certain instinctive wariness of those bigwigs from the IPC. No, I can't let that fear control me. If she's my opponent, let her witness our strength. I can't lose to her. Luca, are you ready to fight? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm also ready to record some footage. Next in the ring, two competitors with a deep-seated rivalry. The atmosphere is already charged with tension before the first punch has even been thrown. You can feel the fireworks are about to explode. In the blue corner, representing Team Bellabog, Luca Stronga. In the red corner, it's the liquidation specialist of the Inner Astral Peace Corporation, Topaz the Debt Retriever. Who would have thought the people of Urillo 6 would start making waves in the cosmos? It's a pleasure to see you here at the War Dance. I'm really looking forward to this match too, Miss Topaz. This is a great opportunity for us to showcase our Bellabogian pride to you. Long time no see. I wasn't expecting to see you here. I hear you're Team Bellabog's coach, which really surprised me. The Astral Express helped mediate Bellabog's debt previously, and now you're assisting them in the war dance. <laughs> when a child is growing up, they need to learn to find their own footing in the world. The Bellabogians have always lived under difficult conditions. We children already knew our path forward long ago. <laughs> A lofty proclamation. I harbor no ill will towards Bellabog. I merely wish to see if, uh, after evading that debt crisis, the people of Bellabog can truly stand on their own. If we rely too much on the charity of major influences to help us overcome hardships, 
They will never truly become free, but rather remain a servant under the illusion of freedom. The people of Pelabog have never been servants! I apologize. Just speaking my mind. It uh, appears I've ruffled some feathers. Time to get on the stage, Luca of Bellabog. You said it. Let's go! We may not call upon the Amber Lord's might, but that doesn't mean we'll go easy on you. Time for fun. <laughs> Those who can knock down Luca, I'll be sure to give you an excellent score in your performance evaluation. Let's roll, people, for our performance evaluation! Already here. Why not have a meal before the game? Yeah. Call the defensive! We do! I weep for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall. Luca has turned the table! <laughs> Legendary! <laughs> <laughs> this is double speed. Lord <laughs> is coming in hot. Get in there, Luca. <laughs> I weep for the departed. It too. Everyone is screaming for Luca. This is double speed. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Your subordinate forces have almost been whittled down. Looks like Topaz is preparing to take to the field herself. Not like I have a choice. If you want something done properly, do it yourself. Uh, Madam Kukulia? Huh? What did you just call me? Uh, it appears Luca is dazed all of a sudden. No, it's nothing. Come at me, Miss Topaz. No. My hallucinations are getting worse. Be your devil. I'll crush them all! Again? Looks like it's time to get serious. You are doomed to fail! Again? Destined for oblivion. A little more heat. Witness the avalanche! Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. On the still waters of oblivion. The Eternal Breeze will bury you! Judgment of Eternal Winter! <laughs> this is Devil Speed? I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. For oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Everyone is screaming for Luke. This is devil speed. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all! On the still waters of oblivion. Time for a fun. <laughs> you fight well, Mr. Luca. 
But it's time to end this game of playing house. Opponent has stepped up their offense. They are probably trying to end it quickly so they can get off worker. I weep for the target. It too shall fall. Feel the freeze. <laughs> this is double speed. Destined for oblivion. A little more heat. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? Time for a pun. <laughs> Apologies, but it looks like this match that should have been yours will end here. The Eternal Freeze will bury you. Judgment of Eternal Winter! <laughs> so strong. She wasn't even using her full power just now. Yuka has been completely cornered by Topaz. Will he be able to turn the tide of his precarious predicament? Luca, get it together! Throw a punch! Keep moving, Luca! The boxing champ of Boulder Town can't fall here! <laughs> this is double speed! <laughs> I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. <laughs> On the still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Destined for oblivion. Get this! Double speed? Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all! More seasons. On the still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. And the winner is... Luca Strongarm! Team Bellabog has proven its superiority and defended its honor. What a roller coaster of emotions. Unbelievable. Isn't that Snowy Owl an IPC employee? Why is he getting so sentimental? <sighs> Luca, you fought well. Victory is yours. <laughs> you pulled your punches, Miss Topaz. Do you think so little of me? Um, you're mistaken. For the Ten Stone Hearts, going all out is something we only do in life and death situations. This is nothing but a casual spar. Best that everyone emerges unscathed without a scratch. We don't want the IPC's protective gear sales to take a hit now, do we? You took the win. Have more faith in yourself. This was a hard-earned victory. And with all due respect, it was you who underestimated me, right? Of course not. I wouldn't dare look down on one of the IPC's legendary employees. You peg everyone with an IPC job title as one of their lapdogs. You think we've sold our souls and become servants for profit. Don't deny that. I know that look all too well. The IPC doesn't need fleeting, intangible goods like souls. They only want profit. My home and Bellabog aren't so different. We are all struggling to eke out an existence in this merciless universe, hell-bent on living long enough to touch happiness. And the messengers of the Amber Lord gave me that chance. 
Just as I, on behalf of the IPC, am giving you that exact same chance. So, you understand now? We have much, much more in common than you think, Luca. I hope that Bella Bug can find the strength within to lift itself up. Now, you've left your city in hopes of getting the cosmos to notice you, and that's certainly admirable. But in this cosmos full of selfishness and malice, are you truly prepared to face even greater crises? Whether you are or not, I wish you the best of luck. <sighs> keep it up, and keep winning matches. I've had my fill, so I should be leaving. I have a lot of negotiations to attend to back on the Lofu. Miss Topaz, wait. Hmm? <sighs> it wasn't my intent to look down on you. I believe anyone striving to survive is truly remarkable. <laughs> Don't take it to heart. Isn't it a tradition to trash talk each other before a match starts?
hallucinations are getting worse. When I was fighting Topaz, do you know who I saw? I saw Madame Kokolia standing at the other end of the ring, summoning blades of ice aimed at me. I guess so. I don't think this is just some simple culture shock issue. Gotta be some IPC baddie dressed up as the Supreme Guardian, so you would hesitate to attack Topaz. There's a break coming up, so there won't be any fights. Luca, you can use this chance to rest and recuperate. <sighs> I do need a break. I'm not actually an Iron Man or anything. Speaking of which, Pitch Dark Cook the Great, what are you doing here on your own? Where'd Svara go? Sparog said he needed to do some data sampling. He asked Hook to wait for him here and not to stir Bluka. Hook has been a goodie and waiting here alone. Data sampling? <sighs> Forget it. It's not something I should be worrying about. Coach, I think I need to get my symptoms looked at. But where can I see a doctor on the Xianzhou? Please, if you don't mind. <sighs> I hope they're as good as Natasha. What does the Divination Commission do again? A simple explanation would be that they are the Information Technology Department on the Sienjo. They are mainly responsible for predicting the future. Predicting the future? I guess they're kind of a big deal. At first I thought she was a little awkward, but I guess she just uh, doesn't like socializing. What should we do first? See a doctor, or go to the Divination Commission. I agree. If the hallucinations are getting bad, we should see a doctor sooner rather than later. I wanna go too! I wanna go too! What did Sparog say? Pitch Dark Hook the Great isn't allowed to disturb Luca. Uh, this lounge is so small and boring. I can't show off my moves in a tiny place like this. Then, Pitch Dark Hook the Great, shall I take you to Arum Alley to eat yummy food? Have you ever eaten a song lotus cake that chirps? I've never eaten it before. What's that? If I can taste this sun glotter's cake, I'll... Uh, I'll make you the mole's grand captain of gourmet discovery! Thank you, Pitch Dark Hook the Great! Let's set off right now! Huh, Miss Carmella is such a kind person. She could get along with Hook so quickly. Okay, Coach. We should get going, too. This is the Alchemy Commission? This whole place is a hospital? Oh, can it get any bigger than this? Wow, cutting edge medicine. Oh, you must really be something to bring me straight here to get treated. A few patches should do the trick. No, oh, isn't that Miss Sushong? What's she doing here? Miss Sushong! What a coincidence! I guess you have a problem too? What sort of greeting is that? You're the one with the problem! Sorry, sorry. I mean, are you here to see a doctor too? No, I came here to help my Cloud Knight co-workers get medication for their bruises and swelling. 
Sorry, I went too hard on him. It was a fair match, so no one's to blame. Actually, we should be grateful to you. They were so impressed by your abilities that they said they wanted to train harder. <laughs> we meet again. Who is this beside you? Hello, I'm Luca, a friend of his. I'm from Bellabog, and a contestant in the current war dance. Bellabog. Apologies, I'm not familiar with the name. Regardless, welcome to the law room, Mr. Luca. Are you here for a consultation? Uh, this might sound weird. Interesting. Hmm. Let's run an imaging test first to confirm that your brain has no organic issues. A fighter's bound to run into such problems. Huh? What's it got to do with anything organic? I thought mechanical parts were fine in the tournament. Uh, not that organic. It means, uh... Oh, how do I explain this? It means that the brain is broken. Ah! Uh, the brain is... broken? Uh, don't worry. Now that you're at the Alchemy Commission, I'll do my best to find a solution. Hold still, and don't move. Three, two, one. Cheese! We are not taking a photo. Hmm. Cauldron Master, what do you see? Is there any hope for me? Uh. Hmm. Hmm. There's a huge shadow in his brain. Could it be? <laughs> I'm too young to die, Doc. <sighs> I'll do it. I'll stay positive and defeat the demons of this illness. Uh, that shadow looks a lot like my hand. <sighs> Look, you're still making the V sign. I told you it's not a photo. From the exam results, it looks like there's nothing wrong with your brain. Mr. Luca, have you been eating anything unusual lately? Let me think. I ate some of the local delights when I got here. Song lotus cake, chili oil beef offal stew, scale gourd spring water, mung bean soda, spicy diced chicken, garlic infused pork. After the tournament officially started, my diet has been pretty much the same. Brown rice, corn, buckwheat, boiled chicken breast, boiled beef shank, poached fish, boiled prawns. Uh, are we feeding livestock here? Mr. Luca, don't be afraid to tell me. Is he mistreating you? I will make sure you get justice. Of course not. I have to watch what I eat during a match. I can't be stuffing myself with junk. Your appetite astounds me. But it seems you didn't eat anything that might affect your brain. Oh, right. After the match with Miss Sushang, I drank a bottle of Sweet Dream Soda. But I think I was already hallucinating before that. Sweet Dream Soda. I think I understand what's going on. It's not unusual to be anxious when you're far away from home. When your nerves were thrown into disarray, the Sweet Dream Soda you drank intensified it. That drink has a fair amount of memoria in it, intended to make dreams more vivid and pleasant, but instead it caused your anxiety to be amplified, eventually triggering serious hallucinations. Sorry, I didn't understand a word you just said. It's all right. There's no cure for such a symptom. What I mean is that you don't require medication. Just stroll around the La Fu more and take in the barrage of new sights and sounds. Stop drinking Sweet Dream Soda and your symptoms will disappear in a few days. Stroll around the La Fu more. Don't drink Sweet Dream Soda. Okay, I've got it memorized. I'm suddenly reminded of something that might help alleviate your symptoms. Please wait a moment. Something that can help alleviate my symptoms?
Lady Lingsha said that these medical patches are very effective, but we're fighting again tomorrow. Will it be enough? We were, but we've been revived. You guys didn't know? The war dance has a popularity revival rule. If eliminated contenders or teams garner enough popularity votes in online polls, they can participate in the repechage and re-enter the ring. So, Miss Susong's team is really popular then. <laughs> it's all mainly thanks to my good friend, Little Gwei. All she has to do is tap a finger on the internet and our popularity votes will blast through the roof like a comet. You know what I mean. Anyway, it's all thanks to Lil Gui's hard work that I, Su Shang, am back in the fight. <laughs> Not bad at all. A <sighs> friend that you can rely on is the most blissful thing in the world. Mr. Luca, come take a look. This is the tusk fur treatment that I've prepared for you. Whoa, what is it? Uh, touch it, touch it! Oh, it's too cute! Oh, you're just like a strawberry bun! Oh, sweetie! Never! I can't stay calm in the face of such cuteness! This is a tusker of the Sienjo Juming. Warm, sweet, not for consumption. Oh, it's pretty cute. But how can it make me better? The tusk purr is a creature that subsists on memoria. Hugging it while you fall asleep can raise your sleep quality, treat insomnia, and relieve anxiety and depression. And the tusk purr loves strong memoria. The more depressed you are, the more happy it'll be. Isn't that right, little fella? Man. Man. Sounds great. Uh, how much? <sighs> Don't worry. This Tusker is a personal pet of mine. I can lend it to you for this treatment, but you have to take good care of it for me. Oh, I can't thank you enough. All throughout my journey, I've received so much help from the Alliance. I will definitely repay everyone. Oh, oh, you two! You guys have something important to attend to later, right? It must be awfully tiring lugging this cutie pie around, right? 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 What? Can't I touch it just a little? You all go take care of your stuff. I'm about to head back to the Sky Splitter to deliver some meds to the team. As a Cloud Knight, I always help out and do at least one good deed a day. I can take this tusk bird to the lounge for you. I'll just hold it for a bit. I swear her. I won't steal it. That's fine by me, Miss Sushang. You can also come play with it anytime you want. Oh, yeah! Thank you, Mr. Luca. Come here, cutie. <laughs> Adorable little tusky. You're so cute. I could just gobble you right up! <laughs> oh, she's acting just like Zila did the first time she saw a real plains bear. Looks like the Tusk Bear not only regenerates rationality, it also destroys it. Hmm. Now that make for an interesting research topic. If there's nothing else I can do for the both of you, I'll be on my way. Thank you for the Tuskmer. I will treasure it and shower it with love. Oh, we were delayed at the Alchemy Commission. Hope we didn't keep Lynx and the Master Diviner waiting too long. Look, Lynx is over there. Quick, let's go see her. Luca, you're here. I had a strange encounter. I was at the plaza watching people play cards, and I met a kind-hearted girl. She said she could help us repair the Jade Abacus we brought. But she was just called away by a few diviners and still hasn't returned. 
Yeah, isn't this girl a bit... much? Could you... There are too many unfamiliar people over there. The girl should be just over there, playing some game with other diviners. One zero one zero one zero is the way. President Ching, you're getting better and better. You're probably slacking off at work playing this game, right? You're one to talk, setting up endless scenarios in the Divination Commission. So it is you, President Ching. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. I was too engrossed playing. I didn't notice the time. <laughs> Isn't this the nameless? You're super popular in our circle. That's not the same. We Pathfinder fans definitely admire you more than others outside the circle. It's the Pathfinder fan circle. We heard that you relied solely on the Pathfinder to overcome the Heliobus possessing the Master Diviner! <laughs> That's definitely the highlight of the Pathfinder since its conception 300 years ago! But our President Ching said it was all down to your hard work! Okay, he and I have some things to take care of. Play with you next time! No! You guys can't leave! Gosh, you scared me. What do you want? It's not every day we meet a Pathfinder legend. We can't let you leave that easily. Hmm. You have to play around a Pathfinder with me, or I won't let you take President Ching away. <laughs> I'll do anything it takes just to have a match with you. <sighs> Just play around with her. I doubt she'll let go of this chance to boast about it. <laughs> Let's play around! Play one round with her and make it quick. I've made Lynx wait for me too long. You ready to have a match with me? Sure, lightning quick! Don't call you a legend for nothing, Nameless. You solve my riddle in a flash. Pathfinder, once you play, you'll forget about hatred, love, and life itself. In the Divination Commission, we play such a magnificent, bold, and fiery game. Satisfied now? Then we'll be off. We'll come find you tomorrow if we're free. Hold on! Recently, our Pathfinder Circle has also been organizing a major event, taking advantage of the momentum from the war dance. Not just for those in the La Fu. Plenty of our like-minded brethren on other Sienjo ships have also come. You may have seen our ad we put out in the papers. You should join if you're interested. If you join up, our first major event will be considered a wild success. Fantastic! Looking forward to it! <laughs> Who would have thought that you'd be so immensely popular in some weird circle? Is this the friend that you mentioned, Luca? Pleased to finally meet you. I keep seeing you in the news. My name is Chingche, a diviner from the Divination Commission. 
Miss Lynx has told me everything. She also said she found some rare antique that she hopes I can fix. At first glance, I knew it was a Jade Abacus. And an old model from centuries ago, too. Out of curiosity, I accepted the job to restore the data inside it. <sighs> Nothing gets past you. You know that the Master Diviner has returned to the Yuche on business? Before she departed, she left me with a mountain of data, spreadsheets, and even more data and spreadsheets. My eyes were seeing stars. Now that such an opportunity has fallen into my lap to restore an important historical document, strictly speaking, taking this job doesn't count as slacking off. And I might even get to unveil a fascinating tale. Why wouldn't I take the job? And I've actually already restored part of the information. But Link said that you have to be the first one to look at it, because the owner of this Jade Abacus is your idol. <laughs> She's right. Thank you, Lynx. Let's play the recording, then. Trust me. With your skills, you'll surely make a name for yourself if you join the Interstellar Circuit. Prize money, fame, things others can't achieve in a lifetime, all within your reach. Of course I'd be thrilled to win, but what I truly hope for is that people will listen to my post-match speech. I know what you're thinking. I've heard about your home's plight. Honestly, many worlds have been attacked by Nanook's Mad Legion. So I must remind you, the audience paid good money to watch a thrilling show. They're not interested in your words of woe and weal. Igor, you sure are a miracle. For a competitor hailing from a frontier planet to get into the final at Pier Point, it's something only a handful have achieved. So cheer up a little. I'm just a plaything for their entertainment. Look at what I've had to do. Severing my perfectly good arm, and replacing it with an IPC prosthetic. All to make the matches more dangerous and thrilling. <laughs> if Mom saw me in this state, she would be heartbroken. If your mother saw the prize money you won, she'd understand. Can my prize money buy me an army? If you want to buy a mercenary army outfitted with standard gear, you'd have to defend your champion's title at least 20 times and accept countless endorsements. Can you last that long? Can your home? his home planet before the Antimatter Legion invaded. When he participated in all the fighting tournaments across the cosmos, he would address the audience with a speech after he won, hoping that would raise awareness about the Antimatter Legion and save his planet. He... really was an extraordinary person. Alas, the cosmos is infinitely vast, easily drowning out one planet's meek cry for help. Sorry, I shouldn't have spoken so flippantly about a fascinating tale earlier. It's all right. This is a chapter in history that's already happened anyway. Regardless, to be able to hear Igor's actual voice after seven centuries makes me more than happy. This section of information doesn't mention the Sienjo Alliance at all. <sighs> I wonder how he fought his way to the La Fu. Anyway, this is all the content that's been restored so far. I should be able to salvage some data, but I'll need a couple of days. Perhaps the subsequent data will be able to tell us why he arrived on the Sienjo. We'll contact you if there are any new findings. I'll stay at the Divination Commission for now. There are some other matters I have to handle besides restoring the Jade Abacus. I'll try my best to restore the data in the Jade Abacus, but it'll take some time. You go back first. 
I'm gonna take a stroll along the streets. That doctor advised me to walk around the town and see more of the sights. If I can walk along the streets alone a few more times, I might be able to conquer my fear of the big city. This place scared the heck out of me when I first got here. After all, in the future, I'll have to be like Igor, competing all over the cosmos for Belabog. I can't keep getting spooked and hallucinating all the time. <laughs> <sighs> I'm lost. Again. The streets in this big city all look the same. I just want to enjoy a cup of tea. Why is it so difficult? Isn't this a great opportunity to practice asking for directions? Let's ask this guy. Excuse me, little bro. Uh, I'm not sure how old you are. Can I call you little bro? Hmm? Are you talking to me? If you're not one of long life species, then I guess we're around the same age. Is there something you need? I'd like to ask, uh, how can I get to the sleepless Earl? Go straight until Starwatcher Avenue. Keep to the right, and you'll see a storyteller performing on your way. That's where the Sleepless Earl is. Thanks, little bro. Really sorry for the trouble. It's my first time visiting another civilization. It's normal to feel a little uncomfortable when you're so far from home. If you need any help, just ask. So, where are you from? I'm from Bellabog. Oh, we've only recently re-established connections with the Cosmos, so you might not have heard of it. Pelabog? I've heard of it from others. No wonder your metal arm looks so awesome. Master, you must be here to compete in the war dance, right? <laughs> Master? Ah, you flatter me. Uh, my name is Luca. I'm here to compete in the war dance. I hope to make a name for myself by successfully challenging the ringmaster of the Xianzhou Luo Fu, so that everyone will know the name Bellabog. You want to challenge the ringmaster of the Luo Fu? You want to challenge Yen Ching? <laughs> it seems like our stars are aligned. You're also here to compete in the war dance? Are you also here to challenge the one named Yen Ching? <laughs> I guess, as a warrior, I always have to keep challenging myself. Yeah, I agree. Warriors have to keep challenging themselves and strong enemies. If you stop moving forward and get scared by the enemy in front of you, all past battles become meaningless. To be able to represent the Xianzhou Luo Fu, oh, this Yan Qing must truly be a legendary fighter. <laughs> I'm not feeling so sure of myself now that I think about it. I feel the same as you whenever I stand in the ring. Although I am confident in the skills that I've honed over the years through my hard work, honestly speaking, there's always that nagging uncertainty about how good my opponents might be. It's like fear sneaks in and messes with my confidence. <laughs> uh, I've got a little trick that can help you conquer your pre-match anxiety. Find an empty place, Scream the name of your opponent until you truly believe that you can beat the enemy you fear. <laughs> what an interesting trick. Okay, I'll give it a go. <clears throat> I will be victorious. The last one standing in that ring can only be me. I, Luca, will definitely win. I will defeat Yen Ching! <laughs> Come on, let me hear you shout! Let's pump herself up! Uh, <laughs> me too? Come, shout with me! I will defeat Yen Ching! I will defeat Yen Ching! 
Yan Ching won't defeat me! Yan Ching won't defeat me! <laughs> hey, you're right! All that shouting made me feel much more confident. See? I wasn't lying. Although we haven't seen much of the world, we do have a lot of experience fighting. I hope this helps. Thank you, Luca. It's late. I have to go prepare for my match. Oh, my friend, you haven't told me your name. <laughs> you can call me Lung Fung. <laughs> In the Xianzhou language, it means an icy blade. May fate bring us together again, Luca. Lung Feng. Now that's a really cool name for such a cool person. Is Luca back yet? Let's head back to the lounge and take a look. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? Forever. Try out ch 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 Victory is inevitable! Get them! I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Destined for oblivion. It's just a tween of us. Never hesitate! That won't do. <laughs> I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. On the still waters of oblivion. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all! It's just a tween on the side. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? The fearless knows not fear. Too slow. Forever. Triumphant! Six, six, six. Victory is inevitable! Destiny 
for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Forever. Triumphant! Victory is inevitable! Forever. Triumphant! Victory is inevitable! Fiends or devils! I'll crush them all! Tremble before my power! I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. On the still waters of oblivion. Again? Get there! More season. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Destiny for oblivion. On the still waters of oblivion. Witness the avalanche. Judgment of eternal winter. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? That won't do. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Forever. Triumphant! For oblivion. Never hesitate! I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. We're not done yet. Again? A world devoured by ice. Feel the free. Again? I'm back. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Freeze to death! This will be your burial again. Ground. On the still waters of oblivion. <laughs> Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Forever. Triumphant! Victory is inevitable! Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Forever. Triumphant! Victory is inevitable! Forever. Triumphant! Victory is inevitable! Fiends or devils? I'll crush them all! On the still waters of oblivion. The fearless knows not fear. I weep for the departed. 
It too shall fall. That won't do. Get that! More season. Never hesitate! Too slow. Destined for oblivion. Forever. Triumphant! Victory is inevitable! Enjoying yourself? <laughs> Harmony and unison. Let's duel. Existence is unity. <clears throat> those with the low gun, those who dig the low grave. <clears throat> All will be swept away by the wind. Dreams do come true. Let the show begin! <laughs> Let the show begin! 
all will be swept away by the wind. Stars echo! Those with the most gun, those who dig the little grave. There's your reward. Let's improvise. <laughs> Turns up. Eternal. Dreams do come true. swept away by the wind. Dreams do come true. Harmony and unison. <laughs> There's your reward. Existence is unity. away by the wind. Stars echo! Those with the most gun. Those who dig the little grave. Time's up! Cleansing dragon. 
Dragon. Cleansing Dragon. After fighting in so many knockout stages, I think our points should be enough. Time to head to the Sky Splitter's leaderboard to confirm her ranking. Attention, all visitors. Travelers who have lost any belonging should stop by the visitors. But. Got enough points! How about it, coach? Let's get ready to challenge some powerful opponents! Okay! Time to get fired up! Let's head back to the lounge! Luca, your next opponent is Boot Hill. You have to be careful! He's a dangerous maniac! Among those who harbor plenty of hatred against the IPC, he's probably one of the more dangerous ones. I heard he's a Galaxy Ranger? What type of organization is that? The Galaxy Rangers are a diverse group of individualistic warriors that are disciples of the hunt. Some are pretty easygoing, but there's also bloodthirsty wanted criminals, like Boot Hill. Disciples of the Hunt? So, isn't he the same as Xianzhou folks? No matter how dangerous he is, he won't be causing trouble in the land of his fellow disciples, right? Would a decent guy be on the IPC's wanted list? I don't think so. You just have to be cautious, Luca. A wanted criminal on the IPC's list is really no joke. <laughs> What's there to be afraid of? Uh, when I was defending the underworld with my master, I also met many hardened criminals. I even personally apprehended the Dark Widower of Boulder Town with my own two hands. You just have to be cautious, Luca. A wanted criminal on the IPC's list is really no joke. <laughs> What's there to be afraid of? Uh, when I was defending the underworld with my master, I also met many hardened criminals. I even personally apprehended the Dark Widower of Boulder Town with my own two hands. Thank <laughs> you. 
all will be swept away by the wind. Step out of it. Existence is unity. Again? The still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall.
out of it. Let's see some sparks fly! Don't get cocky! Some sparks fly. Step out of it. Let's see some sparks fly!
think combining kung fu with singing and dancing would work? Were you two brought here by the scalper too? Until everything burns to ashes! Existence is unity. be swept away by the wind. Let's improvise.
fight to live! <laughs> Dreams do come true. <laughs>
Good hell. A fugitive wanted by the IPC. I'd hate to say it in front of Miss Carmella, but I have a feeling this wanted criminal might not actually be such a bad guy. After all, the Xianzhou Alliance didn't arrest him, and they even allowed him to participate in the war dance. Of course, I'm not afraid of criminals. My iron fist is made to punish bad guys. Luca, are you ready to go up against Buhel? It's time to go see what this criminal the IPC wants so bad is made of. Be careful! as he prepares for yet another fierce battle. In the blue corner, the highly anticipated boxing champion from Bellabog, Luca Straga! Fighting out of the red corner, it's none other than the notorious felon wanted by the IPC, the Galaxy Ranger, Boot Hill! Go for it, Luca! Hill and hand him over to me! We'll split the bounty in half! You little fudgehead! I'll have you stewing in a pot sooner or later. Put in my fudge and call me a biscuit! Can't believe I'm seeing you here, brother! You competing too? <laughs> you little cutie fudge pie! I think you're actually afraid that I might dog your cats in one shot. You guys are... close? We ain't exactly best buddies. Our lives were just rattled in the tangles of destiny. That don't mean I'll be showing any mercy. <laughs> I won't either. Let me give you some real advice, kid. Drop out. Now. You ain't in my league. The match hasn't started. How do you know I can't defeat you? My fist might not be slower than your bullet. <laughs> Diggity wubba boo! Cause we ain't on the same path, partner. You're here to win. I'm here for payback. You want honor? But honor ain't worth squat to me. Also, quit yapping about your fork and iron fist. That IPC-sponsored piece of trash makes me sick. I'll give it a proper overhaul for you later. I want to see every news outlet in the cosmos buzzing with the headline, The IPC's Most Wanted Man Stole the Spotlight at the War Dance. He came out with a fudge blazing and sure made them IPC shirtbags choke on the humble pie. Mr. Boothill? I don't know what kind of grudge you hold against the IPC, but I don't think we're too different. We both want the whole Cosmos' eyes on us. All right, all right, I ain't gonna argue with you. If you want my bullets that bad, who am I to refuse, right? <laughs> well, before I came here, I drew six lucky wheels at the looking bronze in front of the Rainbow Arbiter. Tell you what, if my next six shots jam, you win. But if they don't, well, this ring's floor's gonna be a real mess, ain't it? Uh, Mr. Boothill, we're just sparring, that's all. Let's not risk our lives. Dead gum, Wubba Boo! Others might play games with you, but I ain't playing. I'm putting my life on the line here. But if you don't even have the guts to do the same, then what are you here for? Uh, I... Come on, look down the barrel of my gun. Walk over here and take a swing at me. You got the guts. I 
I'm speaking to Luca. Let him answer me. Luca, come on. Get over here and take a swing at me. You got the guts? <sighs> uh, speak up! <sighs> Bring it on, Boot Hill. I'll make you eat your own words. <laughs> Screw up a boo. You've got some guts. Bullets don't have eyes, so don't blame me for being ruthless. No, my hallucinations are getting worse. Run away now, Luca. Don't go over there. You'll die. No, I... I can't. Have moved a muscle. They face each other on opposite sides of the ring. This <sighs> don't even have the courage to step closer. Just what will Luca do? In the face of Blue Hill's muscle. It too shall fall. Time to say bye. Boom. Shouldn't be fighting him, Luca. He'll kill you! I can't die here. I don't want to die. I don't want to die yet! Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all! Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss! Luca, snap out of it! Time to say bye. Boom. Get them. Relax. Up. Time's passage. It's on. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. No. They won't back down. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Time to say bye. Boom. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. I'll say this one last time. Either turn around and leave. Get over here and hit me. Luca, bullets don't have eyes. Do you really want to die? No action yet from either side. All the spectators are on the edge of their seats, their nerves on the brink of snapping. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss! Time to say bye. Boom. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all! Just turn around and leave. Nothing will happen. Right? No. I won't back down. For oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Get there. Relax. What? Incisiveness, kid. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all! Time's passage is on
Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Time to say bye. Boom. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all! On the still waters of oblivion. Say bye. Boom. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all! What's going on? Am I dead? <laughs> Victor is Galaxy Ranger Boot Hill?
Luca's condition is worrying. Let's go see him at the lounge. That boot hill really went way overboard. If it weren't for Luca's iron arm, Luca would have been... Would have been... <laughs> He's way out of my league. I swear, getting near him, I felt like I was staring death in the face. Luca. I don't think that's what we should be worrying about right now. Clara prepared a couple of spare boxing gloves. But what's the use? They'll just get shot up one by one by Boot Hill anyway. I'm such a country bumpkin. I shouldn't have come here in the first place. I'm way out of my league. Don't give up. Do you remember? The war dance has a popularity revival mechanic. Now the entire cosmos loves you. They'll definitely revive you. Popularity revival? Maybe they all just want to turn me into a laughing stock. They just want to see me get beat up again and escape with my tail between my legs. I'm sorry, Mr. Jepard, Miss Bronya. I... I'm just a useless piece of nothing. But... I'm sorry, I... I want to be alone for a while. Huo Huo and Tails seem to be on the Sky Splitter, too. Let's look for them. Hello, Mr. Nameless. It's been a hectic few days recently in the Shackling Prison. I had a hard time trying to leave. I'm very happy to be seeing you again. Obviously. I saw in the news that you're a coach now. You've got your hands in all kinds of fights, haven't you? I was thinking you could train Wawa properly and have her attend the war dance to fight against a few others. Isn't this much more effective at training one's bravery than watching horror flicks? Huh? That's what you were thinking about? No, 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 no. One punch and I probably won't stop crying for ages. Please don't do this to me. So that kid you're training, uh, Luca or whatever his name is, he got beat anyway. Isn't this the perfect opportunity to throw Huahua into the mix? Oh, right. Is Mr. Luca doing all right? The news said he couldn't even stand. Since Mr. Luca is really popular, he'll definitely clear the popularity revival vote in return. Please cheer him on! Ugh, what cheering? You're just trying to change the subject, you timid brat. You don't want to fight in the war dance, do you? You got beat senseless? <laughs> huh? 
hallucinations? Uh, just excuses, I bet. He's bowing out just because he got thrashed? Extra, extra! Brat even more cowardly than Huahua discovered. Read all about it! You don't say that, Mr. Tail! It's probably really emotionally damaging to realize how huge the skill gap is between you and your opponent. Is that the reason you don't want to fight? <sighs> if that kid wants to forfeit the match, Coach, why don't you give Huahua some proper training and forget about this mess? Actually, hallucinations. There's a way to deal with them, as long as there's someone who's superb at dealing with matters of the heart and a kind-hearted Heliobus willing to help out. Huh? What are you lot looking at me for? Stop looking at me like that! Do I look like a psychiatrist to you? Ah, you people! I bet you think I'm super useful, don't you? I'm charging a fee next time! Thank you, Mr. Tail. Ah, you're lucky I'm a big softy on the inside. Where's Luca now? Take me to him. of my post to watch the competition, but... <sighs> oh. You're back! Who are these two? Oh, Luca's fans! Luca, your fans are here to see you! Uh, uh, hang on! What's this? has fans from realms that transcend mortality! <laughs> Good thing I'm already used to such reactions. Hello, Luca. I'm Hoha, and this here is Mr. Tail. We're your fans. Oh, my fans. Sorry to have disappointed you. Luca's really down in the dumps now, and he can't lift his spirits up for anything. I ordered a couple pounds of grilled meat for him so he might have a feast to cheer him up, but he just sat there all moody and devoured the lot. No matter how bad my mood is, high quality protein is never to blame. Actually, Mr. Luca, we're healers invited by Mr. Nameless to help you with your depressive emotions and hallucinations. There is no we. I'm the only one here who's powerful enough to perform such a difficult task. Everyone, I've already withdrawn from the tournament. Please stop wasting your time and money on someone as useless as me. <sighs> I can't take it! The depression he's radiating is making even me uncomfortable. Ugh. Hurry up and let me at him. I'm really gonna start charging money next time. Uh, this... Mr. Tail? What are you doing so close to me? Oof, cold! I was shivering for a second there. If we're to help the kid find his confidence again, we'll have to strike at the root of the problem and remove it completely. So annoying. Let's just make it quick. Orgy! You're here to watch me fight again? Yeah! You're just too strong. I was so scared when those three big guys came out, but you managed to beat them all. I really hope I can grow up to be strong like Luca one day. Of course. 
course you will. You just have to eat well, sleep well, train well, and you'll be even stronger than I am. When that happens, you'll be able to KO me in just a few punches, and then yell triumphantly in the ring. The Multamerville Warrior, the peerless, bolder champion, defeater of evil throughout the world. <laughs> Not that, Luca. That's the line when you defeat the baddies. Uh, it's getting late. You should be getting home. The early bird gets the worm. That's how you grow up big and strong. Um, Luca? Uh, I might not be able to watch your next match. Hmm? <laughs> That's all right. Even if you're busy, I know you've always got my back. Just remember to come by for the match after that. I'm facing off against the decapitating singer, Congiorni, and you can't miss it. Luca? I don't think I can make it for that either. For a long time after this, I might not be able to come. Uh, huh. What happened? I really hope I can grow up to be strong like Luca one day. Margie? Margie, where are you? Margie? Margie! Where did you go? I still haven't seen you grow up big and strong. Luca, who is that little girl? Her name's Margie, a fan of mine. She always came to watch all my matches. We got to know each other later and started chatting, but in the end, I still didn't really understand her situation. It wasn't until much later that I learned she had a serious illness and was battling for her life against it. <laughs> the underworld is impoverished and the doctors tried their best, but they couldn't... they couldn't cure her. <sighs> My condolences, Luca. <laughs> uh, you may not be familiar with the place of my birth. When I was still a child, everyone led hard lives. Teetering on the brink of death at all times. Some died to monsters, others to bandits. I've seen so much death. Back then, I thought we were just too weak. If I could get just a little stronger, even just a little, we could vanquish our foes and keep on living. I did get stronger later on and became the boxing champion who trounced the entire underworld. At the time, I believed that as long as I swung my fists, no one could defeat me. I could be a role model for all the kids in the underworld. I could tell them that no matter how scary the opponent was, as long as we kept on fighting, we would win out. We would definitely win. But when I wanted to tell Margie the news about my victory, Father told me she was gone. Margie, uh, she was battling the demons of her sickness with that frail, tiny body of hers. She was always battling. She must win the next round. In the end, I finally understood that there are always unwinnable battles in life. Some fights, no matter how much you need to win, you still lose. Just like when I faced off against Mr. Boot Hill. I lied to those kids and to myself. <laughs> I can't face them.
is avoiding the problem. Let's catch up and see how it goes. Dead gum, Wubba Boo! Others might play games with you, but I ain't playing. I'm putting my life on the line here. But if you don't even have the guts to do the same, then what are you here for? Come on. Look down the barrel of my gun. Walk over here and take a swing at me. You got the guts. Luca, come on. Get over here and take a swing at me. You got the guts. Uh -huh. uh, speak up! Bring it on, Boot Hill. I'll make you eat your own words. <laughs> Screw up a boo. You've got some guts. Bullets don't have eyes, so don't blame me for being ruthless. <sighs> I thought your defeat was... Graceful. Not everyone has the guts to charge at a loaded gun and land a punch. <laughs> what else could I do? Turn around and leave. Accept defeat. How is that any different than taking a desperate stand? No matter what I chose, my life wasn't in my own hands. Don't you get it? If he wanted me dead, I wouldn't have had the chance to even muster an ounce of resistance. In short, it was Mr. Boothill who spared my life. I hate this feeling. It makes me feel powerless. Like my life is within the palm of their hand. Like all my efforts to fight back seem like a... Like a joke. That girl, Margie. When she confronted the demons of her sickness, she must have felt this way too. No? Uh, you idiot. Is there anything in this world that isn't in the palm of the universe? <sighs> Even our Heliobi ancestors were trapped in the furnace. Even the eons must walk the path. Freedom? <laughs> Is freedom really that important? You don't get it, Mr. Tail. I just don't want to lose. Ah, why'd he run off again? Forget it. We're almost in the depths of his inner world. The nightmare causing his loss of faith should be hiding there. Run! 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 Run, you fool! You can't win! You'll die! Run away! Quickly! Flee! You can't win! Run back to Bellabon! The skill gap is too much! You'll die! You're still thinking of bringing glory back home? To have your name insulted? Dream on! You absolutely can't win! Run! Are you not afraid of death? Hey! You pieces of trash! Stop spewing nonsense here! Scram! Who are you? You don't belong here! You should not be here! You are... Invaders! Invaders... Must be purged! Uh, you're kidding! You're trying to get rid of me? Oh, this is outrageous! Enjoying yourself? Fiends or devils? I'll crush them all! All will be swept away by the wind. Lance! Forward! Eternal. Give me strength! On the still waters of oblivion. Huh. <clears throat> 
I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Destined for oblivion. On the still waters of oblivion. Luca, I've cleared out that noise messing with your head. You better get it together. Noise? Mr. Jabard, uh, an officer in Bellabok. He said something like that, too. A person's inner voices make far too much noise, especially so during safe and quiet moments. Ironically, the voices that truly matter often become audible only in moments of pain, discomfort, and peril. When I was staring down the barrel of Boot Hill's gun, I realized Mr. Depart was right. My inner heart was at peace. There was only one sound that was yelling nonstop. It got louder and louder, till it just overwhelmed everything around me. That voice said, Run, run, run away quickly! You'll die if you don't! That was the truest voice in my heart when I stared danger in the face. <laughs> I guess it means I'm not as strong as I thought I was. <laughs> Your inner voice told you to run. So, uh, why did you still charge towards him? <laughs> because there was another weaker voice. So weak that I could barely hear it. But it still managed to reach my ears. It said, If you run now, you might as well just die here. So you did well. You charged forth. But I lost, Mr. Tail. I listened to that very important voice, and... I lost. Terribly. Even if I were to be revived, I would still lose. If not today, then tomorrow. No matter how strong I become, I would still eventually lose. <laughs> oh, 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 my sight! <laughs> You're killing me here! You're a real comedian! <laughs> Isn't that just common sense? <sighs> you humans are very fragile. <laughs> Helio by R2, of course, but uh, that's not the point. Uh, the point is... Life is a fight in a ring you're bound to lose. Aging, uh, disease, unattainable desires... Each one will knock you out. Death just lands the final blow, making your friends and family cry. If, if there's nothing but a path of complete and utter defeat to walk, what exactly can be considered winning? Fool! What's the point of asking someone else this question? Huh? Isn't that something that only you can define? I... don't understand. You might as well be a single-celled organism. <sighs> Let me ask you a question, and answer it properly. That young fan of yours, Margie, she fought with her illness her entire life, and she didn't make it through in the end. Tell me, did she lose? She did? Huh? But she tried her best in everything she did. She was always putting up a fight against her sickness. 
One punch after the next. She was the greatest boxer there ever was. In my heart, Margie won. And she won in style. See, you fully understand, don't you? <laughs> there are rules to victory and defeat in the ring. But with our lives, only we get to dictate the rules. Luca, the most important thing is to always throw the next punch. The most important is to always throw the next punch. Thank you, Mr. Tail. Oh, but stop! Stop! Stop it! Oh, I can't stand people's gratitude. Oh. Oh. Now that you've gotten yourself together, it's time to give it your all in your ripishage. Miss Carmela, coach, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have given up so easily. Luca, what's with you? I've decided to participate in the popularity revival repishage and return to the war dance's stage. That's great! Luca, you've finally come around! Huh, that's fantastic! I was sad seeing you so depressed just now. Yes, thank you. All of you. I'll never back down from a fight ever again. But what happened just now? Luca just came to his senses after that green flash of light. This treatment is a little too... effective, isn't it? Maybe it's because I've seen too many bizarre things after arriving on the Luofu. But after witnessing Mr. Tail's capability, I'm actually surprised that... I'm not very surprised at all. Hey, who are you calling a bizarre thing? Speaking of which, doesn't the popularity revival repishage rely on popularity votes? Is Mr. Luca qualified to join the repishage? Let's see. Let's see. Uh... <laughs> I found it! Luca, the list! The repishage! He's in it! Kid, looks like you're gonna be busy! A pity! I'll have to temporarily shelve my plan to have Wahwa get pummeled. <laughs> uh, Mr. Tail! I'm out! <sighs> Goodbye! Please, come see my match again next time! I won't disappoint you! After all the help you've given me! This is far enough. Go back and take care of your business. Aww. It's suffocating trying to keep a secret. I have to spill the beans. Mr. Tail actually came to look for you, too. You dare! Judge when you can't even keep a secret! <sighs> Forget it. I'll deal with you when we get back. Anyway, you heard it. You better be a good coach and make sure that kid wins a few matches in style. Got it? I'm trying to be serious with you. <sighs> We're leaving. See you some other time. Bye! Do your best in the popularity revival repishage! Hoho and Tail have gone home. I should also head back to the lounge to prepare for the repishage. This 
Since I've been given the chance to participate in the repechage, I have to make the most of it and not disappoint everyone who's been cheering me on. Oh, have some faith in me, please. Even if I lose, I'll go down with dignity. You guys won't have to carry me home like last time because my legs turned into jelly. But I'm still not quite clear. What are the rules for this popularity revival match? According to the previous war dances, the repechage is a free-for-all among popular contestants that have been eliminated. There's only one winner, and only the winner can rejoin the knockout stage. But General Jing Yuan has amended the rules, hoping to give more opportunities for the contestants to showcase the beauty of duels. It is said that the Lafu has invited a highly reputable warrior known for his virtue to serve as the referee for the repechage. Have you guys heard of the Knight of Beauty? <laughs> I feel the same way. After all, many worlds are invited to participate in the war dance this time. It's clear that the Sienjo Lafu intends to showcase its prosperity to everyone through this tournament. Mr. Luca, I'm sure the knight will see the beauty in your powerful punches. I truly hope you win. <laughs> uh, thanks, Miss Carmella. I will succeed. That way I won't have to worry about getting a permanent role anymore. <laughs> Waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Time to say bye. Boom. Fiends or devils? I'll crush them all! Stand still. Destined uh. uh. for oblivion. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss! Time to say bye. Boom. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all! Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss! Time to say bye. Boom. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all! Ill tidings manifest. Time's passage. On the still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall.
Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Time to say bye. Boom. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all! Stand still. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss! Time to say bye. Boom. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all! Ill fate descends. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. This is it then. Destined for oblivion. Get them! Waters of oblivion. Do I look impressive when I punch? Uh, it's not like I can see myself in action. Will I impress the Knight of Beauty? The Knights of Beauty sounds like an organization with high aesthetic standards. Don't overthink, Luca. Think about Margie and always focus on your next punch. 
Are you ready to showcase your style? I'm all set. I'm gonna win this. No doubt about that. Next contestant to challenge Argenti, the Knight of Beauty, is a super popular young hero, Luca Stronger! Luca, the entire cosmos has been waiting for your return. <laughs> we all love you. Good to see you again, dear friend. Your demeanor is still as captivating as ever. As much as I want to keep chatting with you, dear friend, please forgive me for not giving you as much attention today. You're not the star of the day. It's Luca. Um, it's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Argenti. I've heard a lot about you. Oh, they say you're really great. I'm pretty good myself, too. <laughs> this isn't my first time seeing you. I was there when you had the duel with Boot Hill. Mr. Argenti, I'm sorry you had to see that spectacle. But please, don't underestimate me because of that. No, not at all. When you stepped forward and swung your fist at a formidable opponent fearlessly, the beauty of that moment struck me. I've been replaying it in my mind for some time, and it always brings tears to my eyes. You're making me blush. I, I lost so badly. It didn't really seem beautiful at all. I must correct you, Luca. Idrilla never promotes the twisted notion of winners being more beautiful than losers. Boothill was only trying to scare you, but you weren't aware of that at the time. You thought you were dying, but for the sake of your dignity, honor, and home, you stood firm and threw a punch. In my view, that's combat aesthetics at its finest. However, even though I hold you in high regard, we still have to compete according to the rules of the War Dance. No problem. I won't disappoint you, Mr. Argenti. Well, let the trial begin. Luca, prepare yourself. I always thought. Mr. Luca. You're invited to perform the Rondo of Beauty! Bring it on! Uh, please take this seriously, Luca! The opponent strikes again! How can Luca react? I will protect all beauty! The flesh will for it, Trilla! Fiends or devils! I'll crush them all! There's no backing out now. For me or you. Who's the little backstabber? Sergeant Luca, change your angle and pause! Great! There's no backing out now. For me or you. The flesh wound. I will protect all beauty. The flesh for it, Trilla. Self inflicted misery. Rise to the challenge. Luca pulls off a sniper miracle with his bare hands. What a bad There's no backing out now. For me or you. I will protect all beauty. For it, Trilla. Fiends or devils? I'll crush them all! Let's duel! There's your reward! 
What an exciting match. Next. Mr. Luton, you're invited to compose an anthem of beauty with me. Oh, it is coming in hot. Rise to the challenge. <laughs> I'm giving you one last chance. Please, do your best. You just need to be struggling to land a counter. What is Luca going to do? Those with the low gun. Those who dig the low gray flesh. Wretched and fleeting. I will protect all beauty. Time for a lesson. Rise to the challenge. Rise to the challenge. There's no backing out now, for me or you. The flesh. Who's the little backstabber? Contest. Uh. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all. I will protect all beauty. The flesh wound. Get them. <laughs> Let the duel commence. Put forth all your might. <laughs> the beauty is eternal. Self-inflicted uh, misery. Keep your cool, Luca. Let Argenti see your bravest side. Rise to the challenge. There's no backing out now. For me or you. Uh. I will protect all beauty. Uh, Mr. Argenti, this punch count as the beauty? The indomitable Luca never gives up. Fight continue. Rise to the challenge. No doubt about it. Luca is the real deal. Oh, good. Luca is at the arena, please. Think back. For me or you. I will protect all beauty. For a driller. Rise to the challenge. Fiends or devils. I'll crush them all. Don't let me down. Bring it on. <laughs> There's your reward. Rise to the challenge. That's amazing, Luca. <laughs> Excellent. I wasn't wrong about you. Your skills, wisdom, and courage embody the beauty of a martial artist. Argenti sees beauty in Luca. <laughs> that means Luca's strong arm is set to make a comeback to the war dance. Where are the Luca fans? Let me hear you holler. Three, two, one, make some noise. Mr. Argenti, I'm truly grateful for your recognition. Actually, I'm simply using the authority granted by the Sienjo people to let you return to the tournament. You don't need my recognition at all. Or anyone else's. <laughs> it's hard to understand your words when they sound so... philosophical. No matter. Just remember one thing. You're already the embodiment of the beauty of battle. Which is a fact. Regardless of winning and losing, or what others may say, it can't be taken away from you. I'll keep that in mind and try to digest its meaning when I'm back home. <laughs> By the way, I heard there's another war dance contestant who's good at using an iron arm. If you two are matched as opponents, it will surely be a magnificent dance. Another strong arm? Who could that be? Oh, I shall take my leave, Mr. Luca.
Miss Chingcha has restored more parts of the record? Let's check them out now. Hopefully we'll find out the reason why Igor came to the Xianzhou. today, Master Diviner? I am extremely busy of late. If you have something to ask of me, do not delay. Uh... You were about to say something along the lines of, how did you know I wanted to ask something? But then you remembered who you were talking to and decided not to bother, correct? Of course. I run a dozen hexagrams before I even get around to breakfast. The results are never far wrong. Today's divinations threw up some unexpected complications. The hexagrammatic position was facilitating between the water and heaven trigrams. The matrix of prescience gave the following interpretation. You will have three uninvited guests. This is ultimately auspicious. Ultimately auspicious? Wow, sounds pretty good to me. Seems like we really were destined to meet today, then. You know, I see you've been using the Matrix of Prescience to divine into Kafka's past. Well, I have a similar request. Hmm, I see. You wish to use the Matrix to relive the past and awaken parts of your memory? Viable in principle, but whether the Matrix is truly capable of achieving this result remains to be seen. <sighs> I knew it. Things are never simple, are they? Who, who said that? I didn't say it was impossible. I said it was viable in principle. There is a gap of a million light years between impossibility and viability. I feel I must explain in detail the principles behind the Divination Commission's ultimate weapon to avoid any misunderstandings. The Matrix of Prescience does not allow one to remember anything. It merely collects data in order to infer past events, in the same way that future events are inferred. Just as Realm Keeping Commission officers collect forensic evidence to recreate the scene of a crime, there are materials from which we can infer the past. These may be items related to the experience, or memories of the people involved. Miss March's predicament is very different from Kafka's situation, because she doesn't remember what happened in her past. I am no medical professional, but fortunately I'm very fond of reading. We understand that there are two types of memory loss. One, where the memories remain dormant, floating around in the unconsciousness unable to be awakened, and another that involves direct erasure of memories from the brain. Uh, who would do such a horrible mean thing? Why don't we try using the Matrix of Prescience to determine which situation pertains to Miss March? Let's begin then by preparing the requisite inference materials. Miss March, your memory is unreliable. To guarantee the Matrix's accuracy, you'll have to provide something related to your past experience. Anything will do. When you're ready, come and find me in the Matrix Core. Uh, the Diviner said I need to provide something from my past experiences. Hmm, what should it be? How about a Sienjo souvenir? Hmm. 
This jade abacus is too severely damaged. Even with my best efforts, I can only restore a small part of the record. What we're about to watch should be the last of the records. Yeah, we're on the Shinzo after all. So we might even find someone here who knew him. <laughs> Are you guys ready? I'm going to play it. Go ahead, Miss Qingchue. Igor, a flicker of sorrow appears fleetingly in my empathy module after listening to your speech. Even the coolant is unable to put out this flame of melancholy. So? Will you deploy your army to take over the collapsing market, Mr. Abraham? Oh, I'm sorry to say that I won't. Every business decision has to be reached based on rational consideration. Your home world only contributes 0.005% of the logistical capacity required by the Building Material Logistics Department. In terms of the resource allocation of the traditional project department, its share is infinitesimal. Mr. Abraham, that infinitesimal share you mentioned is my everything. You can try your luck on the Lawfu of the Xianzhou Alliance, where the Luminary War Dance is currently held. The people of Xianzhou have always prided themselves on their benevolence, and they have aided many planets ravaged by the denizens of abundance. Uh, perhaps they might lend you a helping hand? However, my child, I must remind you that the Xianzhou martial contests are much more than simple cyberboxing. You turned down the prizes and rewards you could have had just to talk to me for ten minutes. Please at least take my sincerest wishes with you when you leave. <laughs> Miss Chinche, are you all right? I, I'm fine. I just feel a bit blue after watching it. Hey, it happened a long time ago. You're right. Ching Chue, don't be sad. It's just history. But the fact that it's history makes it even sadder. Ikor grasped at every tiny sliver of hope for someone to rescue his home world. When the name Sienjo Alliance was mentioned, I imagined things unfolding like this. The Cloud Knights went to Yurilo Six as reinforcements and eliminated the Ruin Legion. And the people of Yurilo Six emerged from the crisis. <sighs> Even without the records of what happened afterward, we know very well that things did not pan out that way. Ikor's last hope, the Sienjo Alliance, did not come to his world's rescue. All his efforts were in vain. No, Miss Qingchue. He didn't fail. Igor Haft later returned to Urillo 6 and fought against the Antimatter Legion on the front line. He, along with many others like him, preserved the desolate city of Bellabog with their flesh and blood. The fact that I can participate in the war dance to fight for my home today shows that he didn't fail. Those who sacrificed their lives 700 years ago didn't fail either. You're right. If Igor could see how impressive you are on the war dance stage, he would definitely be very proud. It's a pity we don't know how Igor performed at the war dance back then. I went to the repository the other day and did some digging. 700 years ago was not too long ago. But it was a turbulent era. The aftermath of the Second Denizens of Abundance War still lingered, and this edition of Imbibador Lune soon followed. I couldn't even find a complete list of contestants, and I didn't see Igor's name anywhere. It's okay. 
Even though this ancient legend is no longer known, I can still create a new legend myself. With my fist, I'll rewrite Igor's story in the War Dance's ring. Just you wait and see. Yeah, we look forward to it. Can't wait. Guess that's all there is about Igor for now. Let's head back to the lounge to prepare for the upcoming knockout stage. Maybe Chingcha actually knew Igor, but forgot about him. I'm not that old! Or maybe you've just forgotten your age. You're making me sound like I'm Mara-struck! That's scary!
your body and mine forever. Triumphant! <laughs> Victory is inevitable! <laughs> in this world is bleeding. in this world is bleeding. Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Last Card, watch this! Forever triumphant! S -s Victory is inevitable! Forever triumphant! S -s Victory is inevitable! Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all! Be of your body and mind! The fearless knows about fear!
to suffer. I will protect all beauty. Heaven and flesh wound. The beauty is eternal. Time to twirl. I will protect all beauty. Time to twirl. All beauty. Time to I will protect all beauty. All beauty! For it, Time to twirl! I will protect all beauty! For it, Time to twirl! This big diamond! It's all yours! Time to twirl! Fiends or devils! I'll crush them all! Let's duel! <laughs> There's your reward! <laughs> Protect all beauty! A mere pawn. I lost my way. Those with the loaded gun. Those who dig the little grave. Time to twirl! I will protect all beauty! For a trip. Protect all beauty! Time to twirl! I will protect all beauty! For it! This big diamond! It's all yours! It's not After fighting in so many knockout stages, I think our points should be enough. Time to... Head to the Sky Splitter's leaderboard to confirm her ranking. Again, all visitors, if you encounter any difficulties, please feel free to ask any nearby venue staff. Or hey, looks like I've got enough points! How about it, coach? Let's get ready to challenge some powerful opponents! Okay! Time to get fired up! Let's head back to the lounge! After this match, I'll be up against Yen Ching in the Ringmaster's Challenge. I thought I'd be really nervous, but I don't have the jitters at all. Uh, to say I'm not nervous at all isn't accurate. Uh, how should I put it? I'm unusually calm. I get you. I felt the same way for my 75th round of interviews with Inner Astral Peace Entertainment. 
75 rounds? See, it's fortunate we didn't join the IPC system. Now we don't have to endure this misery. Let's not dwell on that. How about we check out your next opponent? Independent contestant, Iron Arm? Why so mysterious? This contestant is quite mysterious. I looked him up and found out that he always wore a heavy cloak in his previous matches, so his face was concealed. Perhaps he asked the organizers to hide his real identity. Ooh, so mysterious. But it doesn't matter, because now I'm going to step into the ring and see just how strong this iron arm is for myself.
<laughs> Your end approaches. Receive divinity. The dead return! Criminal. Repay. Again? On the still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. In lunar flame. Blade of moonlight. I failed to send you. Savor it for me. Try harder. Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. The dead return! Savor it for me. In lunar flame. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Lower your weapon. On the still waters of oblivion. The dead return! Savor it for me. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Emergency situation. All prison personnel are instructed to abide by the established procedures and act without delay.
Existence is unity. All will be swept away by the wind. Still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Destined for oblivion. Get them! I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Existence is unity. Protect, protect me! Just for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall.
emergency situation. All prison personnel are instructed to abide by the established procedures and act without delay. All will be swept away by the wind. Existence is unity. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all! On the still waters of oblivion. Lance! Forward! I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. For oblivion. Forget them! Yet? All will be swept away by the wind. Lower your weapon. Again? Treason. On the still waters of oblivion. Get them! I weep for the departed. <laughs> It too shall fall. Eternal. This will surely be a great match. What moves does he have up his sleeve? Luca, are you ready to be crowned as the king of the Iron Arms? 
<laughs> I already am the king of the Iron Arms. You sure are. Let's hit the road, king of the Iron Arms. Look! Why didn't I think of you? What? <laughs> Tiggertron is in an iron arm? You're so silly, Luca. <laughs> <laughs> just, just kidding! Uh, since you're here, that must mean the independent contestant iron arm must be... The two fighters in the ring right now are remarkably similar in many ways. The first contestant comes from Bellabog, Luca Stronger! The other contestant is also from Bellabog. Sparrow, Iron these two contestants from Bellabog are each other's final hurdle before advancing to the Ringmaster's Challenge. <laughs> Paint your ass a sense of humor. But if we look on the bright side, we can see that no matter who wins this match, Bellabog will have a representative qualified to challenge the Lofu's Ringmaster. I must apologize to you, Luca, for participating in the War Dance anonymously and keeping you in the dark. You don't believe I can win. So you came here to boost the chances of Team Bellabog winning the war dance, right? This isn't about what I believe, Luca. This is a matter of calculation. Mathematically speaking, your chance of winning is low, but Bellabog really needs this win. Thus, I entered the competition. This ensures that regardless of who emerges victorious, Bellabog will earn recognition. Mm. <laughs> this stings a little, but I get it. Pitch Dark Cook the Great, come clean. Did you know about this right from the start? Um, sorry. Sparrow said you would be sad if I told you the truth, so I kept it a secret. <sighs> What's next, Varog? Is it Bellabogian against Bellabogian? It seems there is no other choice. I didn't manage to beat you previously. Mathematically speaking, I'm afraid I'll suffer the same fate this time. Your calculation is erroneous, Luca. Mathematically speaking, your chance of winning is unknown. There is a variable that I have yet to ascertain. So, it's impossible to draw any conclusions. Variable? Your improvement. I am an outdated robot. No matter how many pull-ups I do, it only wears down my joints. I will not grow stronger. However, you are different. With each experience, you will continue to grow stronger. You might be right, but... Well, this is kind of embarrassing to say, but... I'm not sure if I've improved or not. Hence my assessment. We should face each other here. Luca, you need to defeat me. <sighs> no problem, Svarog. Bring it on! Again, I'd like to remind you that I won't make this easy for you. Please be careful. Got it! Thanks for not holding back, Sparog! Harmony and unison. Push is coming in hot! Take it there, Luca! Your 
Dragon, White Tiger, Less Card, Watch this! For according my calculations, this is not the best you can do. Please treat this battle seriously. Buka, quickly use that move. You'll never see it coming. Too slow. The fearless knows not fear. Awesome! Now watch this! I won't do. Yeah! Protect me! Protect me! Luca officially neutralizes his opponent's attack. No doubt about it. Luca is the real deal. Fiends or devils? I'll crush them all! Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Less Card, Watch this! Oh, I get it! Luca and Sassarina Blaze with excitement! Everyone is screaming for Luca! Victory is inevitable! We evaluate it! Can't handle that girl. Triumphant! Cha cha cha! Victory is inevitable. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all. Looks <laughs> like tomorrow gearing up for an all-out attack. Transmission on the defensive. They do. Match, who also earns the chance to challenge the ringmaster, Luca Stronga! Luca, do you hear the cheers? You won. <laughs> Svarag, you didn't go easy on me, did you? No, I didn't. You defeated me fair and square. Get some rest. You're up against the ringmaster of the Lafu next. Svarag. <clears throat> Based on your calculations, do you think I can beat Yanqing? The result of my calculations holds no importance to you. You need to step into the ring and experience the battle yourself. That's what matters more to you. Got it. Do whatever it takes.
Luca's going to challenge Yenqing soon. I should join him in the lounge to make sure he's ready. Wow! A source just informed me that General Jing Yuan himself will be present for the upcoming Ringmaster's Challenge. Huh? The General is such a busy man. I can't believe he's coming to watch a... Nobody like me in action. Mr. Luca, know your worth. You're far from being a nobody now. The most popular war dance contestant from another planet is challenging his disciple. Of course he has to be here. <sighs> this is so stressful. I can't embarrass Bellabog in front of General Jing Yuan. I feel like my heart is about to burst out of my throat. Uh, um, uh, being too nervous might affect your performance. How about a bottle of Sweet Dream Soda? Right! I shouldn't drink that. Ah, uh, how about this? Let's go watch someone else's match, shall we? According to the schedule, the current match is... The cur between Boot Hill and Yen Ching! Oh, huh? that sounds interesting. Let's go! You need some fresh air! Being cooped up here in the lounge will only make you more nervous. Let's get moving! We might miss the match if we wait any longer. If I had hands that could sweat, they'd be drenched by now. Still, I wonder why Mr. Boothill suddenly decided to holster his gun and forfeit the match. Was he intimidated by Yinxing's swords? Or was he forced to leave because he's wanted by the IPC? Regardless, I hereby declare the winner of the match, the Low Fools Ring Master, Yinxing! Oh, we're too late. Looks like we'll have to catch the replay later on. Oh, son of a fudge now. That boy is strong. Well, I'll be hornswoggled. If you all come to see my match. I'm oh, too bad. Those little IPC fudgelings are on my tail. I gotta hightail it out of here. I gotta say, your original iron arm looks good. But you know, uh, no matter how tight the schedule, there's always room for a goodbye. Before I head out, uh, let me buy you a cup of tea. Dew's Tea House in Arm Alley has some mighty fine fudging tea. Mm, fiery. Just the way we like it. Us grown men need it strong and kicking. Fuck yeah. No way! You're wanted by the IPC. How can I trust you to take him out for tea? Camera girl! I don't even mind that you're one of them little IPC fudgelings. Yet here you are, acting all forking judgmental. Trailblazer, Miss Carmella, please don't worry about me. I believe Boot Hill means no harm. I'll be back soon. Relax, I'm pretty self-disciplined. I usually don't even take drinks with sugar in them. Mr. Boot Hill, welcome. Please, take a seat. Hey, I isn't this the Luca Strongarm that everyone's been talking about? 
It's a pleasure to have two distinguished guests here today. Uh, what can I get for you? Just let me know. I'm fixing to leave the Lafu, so uh, give me a send-off with a cup of that single malt strong tea you only get on the Sienjo. No need for the fancy stuff. Uh, Popper's blood will do just fine. As for him, he's about to face a tough battle, so fix him up a glass of hero spirit. No problem. I'll be right back. The vibe of this place is similar to Bellabok. <laughs> well, I'm glad you like it. I'm buying you drinks for two reasons. I want to apologize to you, that's the first. My intention was to test your resolve, but threatening a competitor with life and death was uh, a bit over the line. I'm real sorry. If you drink this cup of tea, it means you forgive me, okay? I learned a lot from that match against you, Mr. Boothill. Actually, I should be thanking you for that. Okay, glad you ain't mad. Now let's get to the second reason. I think you should pull out of the competition. Uh, that's out of the question. I won't back down. Just like how I faced your gun last time. I'm leaving not just because time's running out for me, but partly because of that ringmaster too. This kid's young, but he's got some serious skills. Facing him will take too long, and there's no guarantee of winning. It ain't worth getting caught by those forking IPC hounds over a competition. You're different. You always have the choice to leave. The whole cosmos knows about you and Bellabog now, so you've already achieved your goal. No one will blame you if you withdraw now, but if you step into the ring, you'll be crushed. You get what I'm saying? I understand, but I'm still gonna step into the ring and throw a punch. Win or lose, the outcome isn't the only thing that matters. <laughs> I'm impressed, kid. Oh, you're testing my resolve again! <sighs> I almost fell for your trap. <laughs> Dogs, my whoa, booze, you're forking sharp, boy. <laughs> you remind me of a friend, a girl called Rappa. She said in her own ways, just like you. Is she as weak as me? Well, can you crush a star with your bare hands? Uh, can she? She can't, but she always insists that she can. <laughs> ah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> what holy forkaroni! She's really strong. It's getting late. The match with Yenqing is starting soon. I wonder if Luca's back. Let's see whether he's in the lounge. Is about to start. I feel as though I'm having a dream. Stay calm, Luca. Just treat this like any other regular point based tournament. Right! Regardless of how the Ringmaster's challenge transpires, you're already a superstar. That's exactly what makes me feel like I'm dreaming. Uh, in fact, the biggest takeaway from this trip to the Luo Fu is that it made me realize something. I don't fight to gain or prove anything. I don't even do this for the sake of winning. Whenever I throw my punches, I feel like I'm the happiest man in the cosmos. That's the only reason I'm doing this. Even though I don't fully understand it, I'm still pleased to witness your growth. Well, it's 
time for you to get ready for the final battle. I always deliver. Ha! Let the duel commence. The beauty is eternal. Yeah. Harmony and unison. Get them! Yeah. Flesh wound. You're fighting a gentleman. Wretched and fleeting. Uh. I will protect all beauty. Uh. For a driller. Bending the rule. Uh. Uh. Devils. I'll crush them all! There's no backing out now. For me or you. Ugh. Ugh. Doors echo! Let the duel commence. The beauty is eternal! Self-inflicted uh. misery. Get that! <laughs> Flesh wound. A test. Uh, yes. You're fighting a gentleman. Wretched and fleeting. Uh, Who's the little backstabber? Uh, 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 There's no backing out now. For me or you. Uh, I will protect all beauty. Uh, for a rise to the challenge. Uh, uh, Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all! Confess! Let the duel commence. <laughs> Don't let me down. Doors echo! The beauty is eternal. I will protect all beauty. The flesh wound. The flesh wound. Get them. There's no backing out now. For me or you. Who's the little backstabber? The flesh wound. I will protect all beauty. For a driller. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all! <laughs> Self-inflicted misery. The flesh wound. <laughs> Let thy <I'm> lord. <gasps> You're fighting a gentleman. <laughs> I will protect all beauty. <laughs> Test. Let the duel commence. Wretched and fleeting. Uh, time for a lesson. Uh, I will protect all beauty. Uh, Bending the rule. Rise to the challenge. Protect, protect me. Uh, There's no backing out now. For me or you. Uh, there's no backing out now, for me or you. I will protect all beauty. Rise to for the challenge. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all. 
Who's the little bastard? Put forth all your might. You're fighting a gentleman. The flesh wound. Doors echo. The beauty is eternal. I will protect all beauty. The flesh wound. Self-inflicted misery. Rise to the challenge. Get there. I always deliver. A test. Put forth all your might. There's no backing out now. For me or you. Let the duel commence. Wretched and fleeting. The flesh Who's the little backstabber? I will protect all beauty. Self-inflicted misery. Rise to the challenge. Forth all your fights. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all. I will protect all beauty. You're fighting a gentleman. <laughs> Bending the rule. Rise to the challenge. There's no backing out now. For me or you. Uh. Harmony and unison. Doors echo. The beauty is eternal. Who's the, the little backstabber? Uh. Uh. There's no backing out now. For me or you. Uh. Uh. I will protect all beauty! For
module of executing annihilation. Analysis complete. Azure Dragon, White Tiger, less carbs. What's this? Never hesitate. I won't do. Forever. Triumphant. Victory is inevitable. Yeah. Transmission blocked. Protect me. Peace protocol terminated. Doors echo. The fearless knows not fear. Too slow. I can't believe it took me so long to realize that Japard, Argenti, Boot Hill, Svarog, and Mr. Tail were all trying to tell me the same thing. Oh, does this mean I've got one foot in the realm of the strong now? Huh, maybe it's the mentality that makes you strong. Luca, are you ready to challenge Yenching? been ready for a long time. Wow, I'm not even ready yet.
Hi, Mr. Luca. We meet again. But how is this possible? You're... You're... Lung Fung. <laughs> Sorry for not revealing my name previously. I'm the LaFu's ringmaster, Yen Ching. Mr. Luca, I've had my eye on you these past few days. You weren't aware, but I was in the crowd watching all your matches. I must say, you're a formidable warrior. You're resilient, sharp, and strong. What's even more impressive is your resolve. Every punch you throw shows a courage that doesn't care about winning or losing. That has left a deep impression on me. I've heard about what happened to your planet, so I understand how you need this win. Just one more step, and you'll take Bellabog's name into the history books with you. But as the Lafu Ringmaster, there are things I must uphold. I don't have a stirring pre-battle speech, Yenqing. Uh, thanks for giving me directions when I was lost. Many have done the same thing for me these last few days. And it's thanks to all of you that I'm here now. <sighs> Do you still remember the lofty aspirations we yelled loudly at the sky? I, Luca, will be the winner! I will defeat Yen Ching! All eyes are upon Luca Strongarm, who has finally arrived in front of Yen Ching after overcoming numerous hurdles. Since the beginning of the war dance, the match between Luca and Yen Ching has been the most anticipated one among the audience. Now, this highly awaited showdown is about to unfold before viewers across the cosmos. What will be the final result of this match? Let's watch and find out. Anyone who qualifies for the Ringmaster's Challenge is a respectable warrior. You're a top-notch boxer, just like I'm a top-notch swordsman. The outcome of this match isn't going to change that. Yen Ching, I'll give it my all to defeat you. Likewise. Both fighters are ready. The final showdown... Begins now! Big flying swords are swirling around the ring! How will Luca deal with them? Luca's knocked down Yen Ching Sword! Flying stuff! Time to cleanse the fill! Get them! Sex in the sea, no play! Not leaving any openings for Luca. Luca, fist keep calm and use your iron fist against your opponent. Do it for me. Yeah, yeah. Everything in this world is bleeding. Get there. <laughs> Pulls up another miracle with his bare hands. <laughs> what a man! Everything in this world is bleeding. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all. Set the sea so free. Until everything burns to ashes. <laughs> Luca is truly a magnificent warrior. Yen Ching's starting to take this more seriously. Sword, heed me. <laughs> You're all in. I the same one. He seems to be struggling to land a counter. What is Luca going to do? Attack to your body and mine. <laughs> Get them. Uh, Dreams do come true. Yeah. Let the show begin! 
time to cleanse the filth. Everything in this world is bleeding. Sex in the sea, no place! Come get me. Punish evil. Something offensive. What will we do? Shing's about to unleash his signature move! Puka, would you be able to take this? Cut through the ranks! My iron arm is gone kaput. In this case, I'll stop using my swords. Let's decide who the winner is with our bare fists. Ching, are you doing this out of sympathy? I don't need a victory like this, because I have no problem accepting defeat. No, you aren't defeated. Can't you hear? Everyone's cheering for you, Luca. I think that in their minds, someone like you could never be considered defeated. <laughs> Such a moving battle! <sighs> Thanks, Yunqing. In a true fight, does losing even matter? Winning and losing are part of any match. But I gave it my all, and I did it! I kept throwing punches, punch after punch, until the very end. When I go back to Bellabog, there will be another fight waiting for me in the future, and many more battles to come. <sighs> Archie, I tried my best. Just like you, I won. Takes his defeated stride. The audience's passion stays strong. The constant applause is a salute to this resilient Bellabogian fighter. <laughs> in my view, there is no winner or loser in this match. At this moment, the admiration both sides have for each other and the audience's enthusiasm speaks for itself. This this is an unprecedented match that goes beyond winning and losing. <laughs> Stop winning the guy right back. Focus on them two kids. <laughs> I didn't expect my war dance journey would end in this way. I 
I've never felt so at ease. I think it's time to pack up my things and head home with Lynx and the others. Sorry for disturbing your rest, Mr. Luca. General Jing Yuan would like to meet you. Please, make your way to the seat of Divine Foresight. Me? But I lost the match. Is the General really interested in meeting defeated contestants too? As a Skyfaring Commission staff member, I'm afraid I don't have the answer to that question. Hello, Luca from Bellabog. It is a pleasure to meet you. General Jingyuan, it's my honor to meet you. But I'm not quite sure why you summoned me here to the seat of Divine Foresight. Because of that exciting match earlier. And also because you're the second war dance contestant from Yurilo in the past 700 years. Do you mean... Uh, have you by any chance heard of Igor Heft? <laughs> Igor, what a nostalgic name. I know him, but... Actually, I should say I will always remember him. You and he are two of a kind. General, do you know about Igor's experience on the Shinzo? In our hometown, many of us have heard of Igor Haft's heroic tale, but we don't know what he really went through during his journey beyond the sky. Please, you have to tell me his story. <sighs> that was over 700 years ago. At that time, I was young and also serving as the war dance's ringmaster. Igor, a tall and red-haired boxer, appeared in the ring. Every swing of his fist felt like it carried the weight of an entire world. He had a peculiar habit after finishing a match. While turning down all the prizes and gifts, he would talk about his homeland's plight to the spectators, warning them of the Antimatter Legion's attacks as he sought help from those who were capable. Just like that, he conquered every opponent and finally stood before me, much like how you faced Yan Ching. He threw his punches in silence, matching me blow for blow. But as the fight was nearing its end, he suddenly stopped and left the arena. Igor, the Alliance leaders have listened to your tale and your homeland struggles. Many Cloud Knights feel sympathy for your situation. Is there anything more than sympathy? They are unable to send forces. We've received a warning signal from the Yao Qing, meaning. A major conflict between the Xianzhou and the denizens of abundance is imminent. I understand. Thank you, Jing Yuan. Where will you go next? I'm headed home. Because my home needs me. I thought I would surely find a way to rescue it. Or at least someone in this vast cosmos would... Here my plea for help. But I was wrong. Eurilo <laughs> Six's tragedy is insignificant. Disasters unfold in every corner of the universe. If not here, then there. If not today, then tomorrow. <laughs> People have grown accustomed to the disappearance of insignificant stars in the sky. While I've been fighting here, my family and friends are bleeding to death because of the Antimatter Legion's invasion. With every fist I threw, their hopes dimmed a little more. It's time for me to go back now. If a child cannot fight to protect his mother when she needs it, <laughs> what right does he have to call himself her son? See you again, Jingyuan. No. Considering my age, I don't think we will be seeing each other again. I wish you victory, Igor. You too, Jingyuan. If the opportunity arises, 
I'd love to fight you again. <laughs> I'm coming back, Mother. I've come out on top in all my fights. But this time, victory is out of my reach. The war dance is held to foster friendships through combat arts. However, I was just a Cloud Knight Lieutenant at that time, powerless to change anything. I couldn't even utter any words of solace as I watched his despondent silhouette grow smaller. And just like that, he left. Time flew by, and then, in the blink of an eye, three hundred years had passed. Pardon my interruption, General. What was the name of the world you just mentioned? Let's send an invitation to that world called Eurelo Six for the war dance this year. Hopefully, his descendants will respond. General, the astral charts of the Skyfaring Commission indicate that this world has been destroyed. <laughs> General? Send an invitation. Even if it is just a wish. That won't come true. So, this is why we received that invitation? <laughs> Igor gifted me a keepsake before he left. Is this...? <laughs> we took this picture before we parted ways. Despite feeling crestfallen that day, <laughs> he still kept a smile on his face. <sighs> now, I'd like to give something to his descendant, in return for his gift. Seven hundred years ago, I didn't have the chance to help his home. But it's still not too late for me to step in. With the Everwinter Monument as our witness, I, the Supreme Guardian Branya Rand, Hereby announce that the Sienjo Lafu Bellabog Mutual Trade Agreement is now in effect. I've heard stories about Bellabog, where the residents, in their most desperate times, steadfastly maintained the spirit of the preservation, resisting fate until the break of dawn. It wasn't until I stepped onto this land of heroes myself and felt the burn of the perpetual ice on my skin, that I finally realized how solemn the belief of the preservation is, and how great the people struggling there are. From today onward, the Sienjo Lawfu fights alongside you, until the eternal freeze turns into the spring breeze, and the frozen land melts into fertile fields. My old friend, you once expressed your desire to be a long-life species. Because we had a longer lifespan, you thought we would have more time to grow, rectify mistakes, and change the future. You were wrong, Igor. The next punch is always what matters most. For our world, the future is what truly matters. We don't just appear out of nowhere. Each of us comes from the world that was there before we were born. People are like a giant tree, closely intertwined and ever-growing. People shape history. History creates heroes. Heroes inspire the future. And the future brings forth new people. My old friend, your call for help back then has been answered. Luca is the answer. He isn't just a boy. Instead, he's as ancient as your civilization. And he's the embodiment of your Relo Six. 
I should have realized sooner. A civilization that can give rise to someone like you wouldn't be easily wiped out. Mr. Depard, are you ready? I'm here to return that victory you lent me. War dance commemorative items. A collector's model of the sword. Perfect timing, coach. Now that the war dance has ended and Luca has returned to Bellabog, it's time for me to go. <laughs> How am I going to afford that? Besides, Mr. Albert's been urging me to go back and write the next script of keeping up with Star Rail for him. <laughs> Honestly speaking, these days of participating in the war dance with you have been <laughs> the happiest of my life. Now that Luca is the hottest rising star in the whole cosmos, he'll definitely have lots of chances to participate in major tournaments in the future. When the time comes, I hope you'll still be his coach, and I'll still be in charge of covering your stories. By the way, this is the issue of the newspaper that features the showdown between Luca and Yen Ching. I bought a hundred copies. This one's for you to keep. Oh, oh no! It's getting late! I'm about to miss my star skiff. I, I should get going. I'll see you next time! Of course! It's just a matter of time before he becomes the most dazzling champion in the cosmos. I've got a knack for reading people. Get me!
need all together. Time to cleanse the filth. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Set to the sea so free! Uh. Fight to live! Uh. <laughs> Everything in this world is bleeding. Uh. Let the show begin! Stars Echo! Everything in this world is bleeding. Set to the sea, so play! Let's improvise. Come get me! Punish evil! Get Still on. the same wall. Yeah! Be of your body and mind! Fight to live! Sword, heed me! Until everything burns to ashes! Fight to live! Set to the sea so play! Dreams do come true. Let the show begin! in this world is bleeding. Let the show begin! Everything in this world is bleeding. Time to cleanse the filth. Stars Echo! Fight to live! Let's improvise. Sword, heed me! You're all in! Still the same wall. Yeah. Be of your body and mind! Come get me! Hmm? in this world is bleeding. Time to cleanse the filth. Dreams do come true. Let the show begin! Set to the sea so free! Until everything burns to ashes! Cut through the rats! Until the sun <laughs> Let 
the show begin! Be a pure body and mind! Punish evil! Everything in this world... is bleeding. Dreams do come true. Let the show begin! Stars Echo! Everything in this world... is bleeding. Yeah. Time to cleanse the filth. Sex in the sea, so play! Let's improvise. Fight to live! I failed. <laughs> 